What would you do if you manage an electric car company and want to make your EVs more viable? Elon Musk is in that position, and one of his initiatives is to extend the range of Tesla vehicles. Musk has developed an EV battery that will considerably improve the performance of his EV, thanks to a wonder substance. What exactly is this new wonder material, and what are its characteristics? Hey everyone, and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. This video will cover the new Brophine battery. Join us as we study Elon Musk's freshly revealed revolutionary Brophine battery. Batteries have become an indistinguishable part of today's electronics. Many of the devices around you are powered by batteries, which allow you to operate them without being plugged into an outlet all the time. Consider a future where you must always have your smartphone plugged into a wall outlet to use it. That's not a good time. Batteries are also used in more important applications, such as hard pacemakers. Since batteries are such an important aspect of modern technology, scientists and engineers are continuously looking for new materials to utilize in batteries that will increase driving range, charging speeds, thermal conduction, and safety. They also aim to reduce the price of technological devices to make them more acceptable. Elon Musk is interested in batteries for a variety of reasons. His ambition is to aid the environment by switching greenhouse gas emitting internal combustion engines with zero emission vehicles. While admirable, this vision is dependent on the battery, which stores electrical energy utilized to power the electric motor. More individuals will switch to electric vehicles as the battery technology improves. Musk has previously stated that he wants to build an electric plane to replace his present private jet. To accomplish so, however, a lighter battery with a high energy density is required. This will allow the plane to be as light as feasible while maintaining a lengthy range of flight. It's tough to obtain a battery that satisfies the specific needs of airplanes in today's market. Tesla has grown into a powerhouse in the battery market, designing its own batteries and also collaborating with other companies more often to manufacture them. However, the search for the finest battery materials continues. All modern electric cars, in essence, use lithium-ion batteries, which Tesla popularized with their first EV, the Roadster. The battery has a number of advantages over the lead-acid battery, which has been the standard for decades. It is lighter, has better energy density, requires less maintenance, charges faster, and lasts longer, among other benefits. However, when used in an electronic vehicle, the lithium-ion battery still has significant drawbacks. It's still quite substantial, making electric vehicles significantly heavier than their internal combustion engine rivals. Alternatively, the battery may not charge quickly enough, where ICEs, for example, can easily fill up with gas. Furthermore, they're both costly to make and to properly dispose of. You've definitely heard about graphene, a wonder substance that is rumored to have a slew of intriguing applications in fields as diverse as electronics, energy, health, and buildings. Scientists authored approximately 8,000 articles on the new material in the first few years of its existence or discovery, demonstrating the enormous interest in what was created. The material used in pencils, graphite, is utilized to make graphene. Graphene, like graphite, is made completely of carbon atoms, with 3 million layers of graphene in 1 millimeter of graphite. Graphene is a two-dimensional crystal that is just one atom thick, unlike graphite, which is a three-dimensional crystalline arrangement. Carbon atoms are evenly dispersed in a hexagonal honeycomb structure that is only 0.3 nanometers thick and has only 0.1 nanometers between them. The electrical conductivity of battery electrodes is projected to rise using graphene, which will enhance their performance and mechanical stability. It will also aid in the reduction of battery costs and the reduction of environmental impact. However, a new wonder material has arrived in town that outperforms graphene. It's called Brophine, and it's getting a lot of love from material scientists and battery engineers. But what is Borophene exactly? Two-dimensional atom-thin sheets of boron, a chemical element commonly found in fiberglass insulation, makes up this intriguing substance. The remarkable thing about boron is that it is a non-metallic semiconductor in 3D form. In 2D, however, it transforms into a metallic conductor. Borophene, much more than graphene, is incredibly flexible, robust, and light. Borphine is a viable material platform for next-generation electronic devices such as wearables, biomolecule sensors, light detectors, and quantum computers due to its unusual electrical and mechanical properties. The discovery of borphine is linked to graphene in numerous ways. Because the chemical features of the latter were revealed in 2004, scientists began looking for alternative 2D materials with amazing properties. Manipulation of graphene structure is difficult due to the strong connections between carbon atoms that give it its strength. 
Borophene has a hexagonal network formed of boron atoms instead of carbon atoms on each of the six vertices that define the hexagon, comparable to graphene. The difference is that borophene has an extra boron atom in the center of the hexagon on a regular basis. When four out of every five center spots are occupied and one is vacant, the crystal structure is theoretically stable. While the number of vacancies is set, their order is not, according to theory. They can be recognized as long as the vacancies are distributed in a way that maintains the most stable or lowest energy structure. Because of its versatility, borphine can be used in a variety of ways. On the periodic table, boron is next to carbon, but it has fewer electrons. This led some scientists to believe that boron, put on a suitable substrate, would generate a two-dimensional material akin to graphene. Nobody could test the prediction until 2015, when scientists successfully synthesized borphine for the first time. They used molecular beam epitaxy to deposit boron onto silver substrates at an ultra-high vacuum. Soon after, another set of scientists developed borphine on silver, but their crystal structure was completely different. One of the advantages of borphine is that its structure may be altered to meet your needs, which are numerous. Despite its potential, borphine is difficult to manufacture. One of the most notable physical distinctions between graphene and borphine is that, although graphene can be ripped away from naturally stacked graphite using scotch tape, borphine cannot. Borphine, on the other hand, requires direct production on a substrate. If you thought growing one layer of borphine was difficult, wait till you attempt growing numerous layers of atomically flat borphine. Growing boron beyond single atomic layers causes clustering rather than planar films because bulk boron is not layered like graphite. A team of Northwestern University engineers, on the other hand, has succeeded in producing a double layer of atomically flat borphine. This is a big step toward borphine being as common as graphene, which will speed up its adoption. The team's double-layered material kept all of borphine's intended electrical properties while adding new ones. Because it comprises of two atomic layer thick sheets joined together with space between them, the material might be used for energy or chemical storage, for example. What makes borphine so unique in the creation of batteries when it comes to energy storage? If you're familiar with batteries, you'll know that the capacities, electrical conductivity, and ionic conductivity of a material all play a role in determining whether or not it may be used as an electrode. Because borphine is a 2D material with a high surface liveness, it can be used to create metal materials with extraordinary high storage capacity. Additionally, because borphine's metallic band structure improves energy transfer, it can be used as an electrode in metal ion batteries. As an electrode material, borphine has a strong contact with lithium ions due to its high surface activity. The initial intercalation voltage is 1.12 EV, and as the Li absorption range expands, the voltage drops. Not shortly after the discovery of borphine, scientists advocated sodium borohydride as an appropriate cathode material for lithium batteries. Traditional electrode materials such as graphite, silicone, phosphorine, and others contain significantly less totally litigated phases than two parts per million. Lithium ions have a far lower relative migration potential barrier in borophene than they do in graphite, silicone, or phosphorine. As a result of its high ionic conductivity and outstanding electronic conductivity, borophene has a reasonably good performance in the entire charging and discharging process. Borophene has a large capacity, great conductivity, and effective ion transport capabilities, making it an excellent material for building cathodes for lithium, sodium, and magnesium ion batteries in theory. Another form of battery where borphine can be beneficial is the lithium sulfur battery, which has had a lot of difficulties. It's difficult to find the right anchor material to avoid a shuttle effect. Even graphene is insufficient as an anchor material. Using a first principles calculation method, another group of scientists investigated the use of borphine benzene as a potential anchoring material for lithium sulfur batteries. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.